Good evening everyone. I hope you're well. I actually have a toothache of some kind and I've been busy doing housework today. I always find it so exhausting. Um, I'm going to share with you this evening the liturgical readings for Tuesday the 16th of January 2024. We're Tuesday of the second week in Ordinary Time, Year 2, and it's an optional memorial of St. Sferza, abbot and missionary. The um, first reading will be from the first book of Samuel, 16, verses 1 to 13, and the psalm will be 88. And the Gospel will be Mark 2, chapter 2, 23 to 28. It's all very short this evening. I will be doing some prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Open my heart, O Holy Spirit, to receive your inspired word. Grant me wisdom to understand what you want to teach me and strength of will to follow wherever you lead. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. To my guardian angel, angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love entrust me here, ever this night be at my side, to light and God to rule and guide. Amen. And the time is approximately 6 minutes past 8pm on Tuesday, 16th of January. So we'll begin with the readings and I'll continue with the folder I prepared for a friend who wasn't able to practice her faith. And it should help her and I'm, she's coming to collect the folder on Thursday so I've got to Wednesday to do it and maybe Thursday morning but I don't usually record in the mornings so the first reading is from the book of Samuel chapter 16 1 to 13 and the theme Samuel anointed David where he stood with his brothers and of the Lord seized on David. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you go on mourning over Saul when I have rejected him as king of Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. For I have chosen myself a king among his sons. Samuel replied, How can I go? When Saul hears of it, he will kill me. Then the Lord said, Take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and then I myself will tell you what you must do. You must anoint to me the one I point out to you. Samuel did what the Lord ordered and went to Bethlehem. The elders of the town came trembling to meet him and asked, Seer, have you come with good intentions towards us? Yes, he replied. 
I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Purify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. He purified Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. When they arrived, he caught sight of Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed one stands there before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Take no notice of his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. God does not see as man sees. Man looks at appearances, but the Lord looks at the heart. Jesse then called Ab bin Nadab and presented him to Samuel who said the Lord has not chosen this one either Jesse then presented Shammah but Samuel said the Lord has not chosen this one either Jesse presented his seven sons to Samuel but Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen these. He then asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? He answered, There is still one left, the youngest, and he is out looking after the sheep. Then Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him, we will not sit down to eat until he comes. Jesse had him sent for, a boy of fresh complexion with fine eyes and pleasant bearing. The Lord said, Come, anoint him, for this is the one. At this Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him where he stood with his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord seized on David and stayed with him from that day on. As for Samuel, he rose and went to Ramah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Psalm 88. And your response and my response is, I have found David my servant. I have found David my servant. Of old you spoke in a vision. To your friends, the prophets, you said, I have set the crown on a warrior. I have exalted one chosen from the people. Response, I have found David my servant. He will say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock who saves me, and I will make him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. I have found David, my servant. Hallelujah. Alleluia, Alleluia. Open my eyes, O Lord, that I am. Consider the wonders of your law. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel, the reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 2, 
verses 23 to 28. Glory to you, O Lord. The theme, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. One Sabbath, one Sabbath day, Jesus happened to be taking a walk through the cornfields and his disciples began to pick ears of corn as they went along. And the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are you doing something on the Sabbath, on the Sabbath day that is forbidden? And he replied, Did you never read what David did in his time of need when he and his followers were hungry? How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the loaves of offering which only the priests are allowed to eat and how he also gave some to the men with him and he said to them the sabbath was made for man not man for the sabbath the son of man is master even of the sabbath the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ so we're in week second week in ordinary time tuesday we're just reflecting on mark 2 23 to 28 so both of today's readings suggest that our way of seeing can be very limited in the first reading when samuel saw the first of jesse's sons he thought surely the lord's anointed one stands there however Samuel heard the Lord say to him, Take no notice of his appearance or his height. God does not see as humans see. Humans look at appearances, but the Lord looks at the heart. It turned out that the son of Jesse whom God had chosen, his youngest son David, had at least to recommend him just going on appearances. The Lord saw something in David that no human being could see. There is another instance of limited human seeing in the Gospel reading. When the Pharisees saw Jesus' disciples picking and eating ears of corn on the Sabbath, they saw people who were breaking the Sabbath law, requiring rest from labour. When Jesus looked upon the action of his disciples, he saw a legitimate attempt to satisfy hunger. He went on to say to the Pharisees that human need will often take priority of over religious law, including the Sabbath law. The Sabbath was made for humans, no humans for the Sabbath. Both readings remind us that our way of seeing can often be very limited. We can so easily judge on the basis of appearances rather than seeing what is beyond. What is beyond appearances and to what is deepest in the person. Our calling is to grow into the Lord's way of seeing, of course, with the help of his Spirit, the Holy Spirit, and the first step on that journey of deeper seeing is to acknowledge our own blindness and our need for fuller light. So we have a lot to think about how we reflect on the world. We certainly only look on the world at the moment through man's eyes, not God's eyes. And God's eyes look on the world much differently to what we do. And um, yes, the world's in a very sorry state at the moment, getting worse day by day. And... um, We have to pray for enlightenment 
and to see the world and the happenings in it through God's eyes instead of our own. And um, that's difficult. It's not easy at all. I'm just looking for my prayer book. Oh, it's right. I put it behind me. I'm going to have to sit back a little bit. I hope you can still hear me. So after reading sacred scripture, I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the word you have spoken to me through the treasure of the scripture. Make these words a reality in my life, a constant guide, a lamp for my feet, and a light to my path. Amen. I'll just do one or two more from here and then do the folder. Come, Spirit of Truth, and lead us to the whole truth. Speak to us of Jesus, so that we may speak of him to others. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, and help us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we should. Intercede for us so that the one who sees into our hearts and knows our thoughts may hear our prayers. Amen. Glorious Father, give us the Holy Spirit to make us wise, so that we may come to know you. Enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know the hope to which you have called us, the rich blessings you have promised, and how great is your power at work in those who believe. Amen. Fill us with knowledge of your will through the wisdom and spiritual understanding your spirit bestows on us, your faithful ones, so that we may conduct ourselves in a worthy manner. Be fruitful in every type of work and do always what is pleasing to you. Amen. So I'm now going to reorganise myself again while I can get the microphone nearer. And then I'm going to hope that this balancing is safe and that I won't uh, knock off the... um, microphone from where I've moved it to and I'm going to open the folder but I can't actually I didn't mark where I stopped reading the prayers yesterday so it's um, uh, I'm not quite sure I will start with the guardian angels because you can never have too much of the guardian angels prayers and I might just continue till maybe who knows how many prayers we can go through. These are recommended prayers by the church and we all pray them at different times. It's not on a basis of you must pray them all every day. Some people might like to, especially people who are sick or ill or they've got time on their hands. But certainly these next two, we've done them already but I will do them again to remind ourselves. Prayer to my guardian angel. O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be at my side, to light, to guard, to rule and guide. Amen. I recommend we all pray that prayer all the time because we do have a guardian angel. And it's the guardian angel that reminds us of certain things we must do or should do or even to save our life in a, an emergency or which the guardian angel knows when we're in danger. And this is because we're in spiritual warfare all the time, all the world. Satan is in control. I mean, look at all the murders that are going on. I mean, in war uh, and as well as out of war murders. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. 
be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And of course, we have to be aware that we are in spiritual warfare. We need to regularly protect ourselves and our families. Notwithstanding, the Virgin Mary always prays for us. And we need to honour her as Jesus' mother, because she has special spiritual gifts and prayers we can pray for those same gifts and it's so important to get in a good habits of prayer so the prayer for life but there's no need in god's world to worry about things and people worry too much and they do things that are not good in god's eyes oh mary bright dawn of the new world, mother of the living. To you do we entrust the cause of life. Look down, O mother, on the vast numbers of babies not allowed to be born, of the poor whose lives are made difficult, of the men and women who are victims of brutal violence, of the elderly and the sick, killed by indifference or out of misguided mercy, grant that all who believe in your Son may proclaim the gospel of life. With honesty and love to the people of our time, obtain for them the grace to accept that gospel as a gift ever new the joy of celebrating it with gratitude throughout their lives and the courage to bear witness in it resolutely in order to build together with all people of goodwill the civilization of truth and love to the praise and glory of God, the creator and lover of life. The next prayer, in temptation, Lord, save me, or I perish. Keep me close to you by your grace, or I shall sin and fall away from you. Jesus, help me. Mary, help me. My holy angel, watch over me. Amen. So we'll just turn over to the next section. I find it much easier to read the size font in here than I do the ones in the prayer book. So I think as it's evening I'm going to give a miss to those prayers for the morning. I'll let my friend do them herself. And evening prayer. Oh God, come to our aid. And Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O Trinity of blessed light, O unity of princely might, the fiery sun now goes his way. Shed thou within our hearts thy ray. To thee our morning song of praise, to thee our evening prayer we raise. Thy glory, suppliant, we adore for ever and for evermore. O Lord, to God the Father be, all praise eternal, Son to thee, all glory as is ever meet, to God the Holy Paraclete. Amen. And I'm, I'm going to bypass Psalm 16. And uh, a concluding prayer for later, but we'll do it now. Let our evening prayer rise before you like incense. And Lord, may your blessings shower down upon us, so that now and forever your grace may heal and save us. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us and keep us from evil and bring us to everlasting life. And then you'd say the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the glory be and I believe. O oh my God, I thank you for all the benefits which I have ever received from you and especially this day. Give me light to see what sins I have committed and grant me the grace to be truly sorry for them. And then you would do an examination of conscience. Oh my God, because you are so good, I am very sorry that I have sinned against you. And by the help of your grace, I will not sin again. And then before going to bed, into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Lord Jesus, receive my soul. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ crucified, I lay me down to rest. Bless me, O Lord, and defend me. Preserve me from a sudden and unprovided death and from all dangers and bring me to everlasting life with you. Amen. So I'm now going to turn over another page. There are prayers there. And these are just the contents of prayer books that I happen to have there. And I just, so that she wants any of them, she can ask me. Um, I'm just going to look for, for one. May your kingdom of peace and justice be realised on earth as in heaven. So Lord, hear our prayer. Show yourself to all who seek you in sincerity of heart. Lord Jesus Christ, light of all nations, shine upon those who walk in darkness and in the shadow of death. Be with all those who suffer in mind, body or spirit. Show mercy to the dead. Bring them to rejoice in the company of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all your saints. I'm just going to miss the Magnificat because I know we did that yesterday. And Father in heaven, yours is a spirit of truth and love. Pour that same Holy Spirit into my body, my mind and my soul. And preserve me from all illusions and false inspirations. And reveal your presence, your word and your will to me in a way I can understand. I thank you that you will do this while giving me the ability to respond through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a moment's reflection. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. I know I did these, I'm turning over because I did the ones about confession and after confession yesterday. But I know that I didn't do the uh, Fatima prayers and these are the morning ones for Fatima. Oh my God, in union with the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And if you have a brown scapula, you would kiss it as a sign of your consecration. I offer thee the precious blood of Jesus from all the altars throughout the world, joining with it the offering of my every thought, word and action of this day. O oh my Jesus, I desire today to gain every indulgence and merit I can, and I offer them together with myself to Mary Immaculate, that she may best apply them to the interests of thy most sacred heart. Precious blood of Jesus, save us, sorrowful and immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. 
pardon prayer. My God, I believe, I adore, I hope and I love you. I ask pardon of you for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope and do not love you. Angels Reparation Prayer Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, I adore you profoundly and I offer you the most precious body, blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ present in all the tabernacles of the world in reparation for the outrages, sacrileges and indifference with which he himself is offended and through the infinite merits of his most sacred heart and the immaculate heart of Mary. I beg of you the conversion of poor sinners. Amen. The Eucharistic Prayer Most Holy Trinity, I adore thee. My God, my God, I love thee in the most blessed sacrament of the holy altar. Amen. A sacrifice prayer, O Jesus, it is for love of you, for the conversion of sinners, and in reparation for the sins committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary. And uh, I'm not going to pray the rosary as it is done but I'll share the words of Fatima and the rosary at every one of her six Fatima apparitions between May and October 1917 Our Lady specifically asked for the rosary to be said 30th of May Pray the rosary every day to obtain peace for the world and an end to the war. So we should all be doing that now for this war in Ukraine, Russia and Israel versus, well, they've got the upper hand, haven't they, against the Palestinians. No doubt who's won or winning that war because civilians are dying every moment and starving. 13th of June, 1917, she said, I want you to pray the rosary every day. The 13th of July, Mary said, I want you to continue to pray the rosary every day in honour of Our Lady of the Rosary to obtain peace for the world and the end of the war because only she can help you. So 19th of August, she said, Mary said, continue praying the rosary every day. And on the 13th of September, 1917, she said, continue to pray the rosary every day in order to obtain the end of the war. And then on the 13th of October, 1917, Mary said, I am the Lady of the Rosary. Continue always to pray the Rosary every day. And then the Rosary Decade Prayer. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy and consecration to the heart, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, to your Immaculate Heart we consecrate ourselves in an act of total entrustment to the Lord. 
By him, by you, we will be led to Christ. By him and with him, we will be led to the Father. We will walk in the light of faith and we will do everything so that the world may believe that Jesus Christ is the one sent by the Father. With him we wish to carry his love and salvation to the ends of the earth. Under the protection of your immaculate heart, we will be one people with Christ. We will be witnesses of his resurrection. By him we will be led to the Father for the glory of the Most Holy Trinity, whom we adore, praise and bless forever. Amen. Sorry about the noise. Litany of Our Lady of Fatima Our Lady of Fatima, pray for our dear country wherever you live and we should pray for Palestine and Russia and uh, Ukraine. Our Lady of Fatima, sanctify our clergy. Our Lady of Fatima, make our Catholics more fervent. Our Lady of Fatima, guide and inspire those who govern us. Our Lady of Fatima, cure the sick who confide in thee. Our Lady of Fatima, console the sorrowful who trust in thee. Our Lady of Fatima, help those who invoke your aid. Our Lady of Fatima, deliver us. From all dangers, Our Lady of Fatima, help us to resist temptation. Our Lady of Fatima, obtain for us all that we lovingly ask of thee. Our Lady of Fatima, help those who are dear to us. Our Lady of Fatima, Bring back to the right road our erring brothers. Our Lady of Fatima, give us back our ancient fervour. Our Lady of Fatima, obtain for us pardon of our manifold sins and offences. Our Lady of Fatima, bring all men to the feet of thy divine child. Our Lady of Fatima, Obtain peace for the world. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. O God of infinite goodness, and mercy. Fill our hearts with a great confidence in thy dear mother, whom we invoke under the title of Our Lady of the Rosary and Our Lady of Fatima, and grant us by her powerful intercessions all the graces, spiritual and temporal, which we need through Christ our Lord. And this prayer, they have been blessed, but it, we will pray the prayer anyway. It's for the canonization of Blessed Jacinta and Francisco Marto, Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. I adore you profoundly and I thank you for the apparitions of the Most Holy Virgin in Fatima. By the infant merits of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and through the intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I implore you, if it should be for your greater glory and the good of our souls, to glorify in the sight of your Holy Church, Blessed Francisco and Jacinta, granting us through their intercession the grace which we implore. Amen. And... Uh, the, there are prayers at the back for 
I'll share them with you from the simple prayer book for parents and this is questions for you if you are a parent. Have I neglected the religious education of my children? Have I failed to bring my children to Sunday Mass? Have I argued with my spouse in front of my children? Have I failed to exercise vigilance over what my children read? See on television or on the internet? Have I been harsh or overbearing to my children? Have I neglected my children's welfare any any way? For young people, have I been disobedient to my parents? Have I been unhelpful at home? Have I failed to try to understand my parents and talk with them? Have I upset the peace of my home for selfish reasons? Have I lost control when I've been angry? Have I sulked or been sarcastic instead of asking for help? Have I failed to work properly at school? Have I treated treat teachers or other adults with disrespect? Have I played unfairly at games or sports? Have I taken part in fights? And we've done the St. Michael prayer. I won't do the scapula of St. Michael, not at the moment. Um, a simple prayer book. We've done the confession yesterday. But I can do this brief one. I confess to Almighty God that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask the Blessed Mary, Ever Virgin, and all the angels and saints to pray for me. Ever Virgin and all the angels and saints pray for me to the Lord our God, an act of communion. Oh my God, I am sorry and beg pardon for all my sins and detest them above all things because they are. They deserve your dreadful punishments because they've crucified my loving Saviour, Jesus Christ. And most of all, because they offend your infinite goodness. And I firmly resolve, and I firmly resolve, by the help of your grace, and never to offend you again, and carefully to avoid the occasions of sin. Amen. Veni Sancti Spiritus. Pray to the Holy Spirit. Come, O Creator, Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great paralate to thee do we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O fount of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known. And I seem to have missed a page, so I have to correct that before the end of, before Thursday. The next page is just not there. So maybe I did it back to front. It's not impossible. I'll just check. Yeah, that's what I did. I have to turn it round. So when I put made the folder I put it the wrong way in the next prayers are unusual many of you will not have heard them it's concerning recollection during the day from a little prayer book I own which I typed up A Thirst for God by St Francis de Sales and if you are a very devout Catholic you will love his prayers because we all love them 
On this subject, I want your most earnest attention, for it involves one of the most important means towards your spiritual advancement, and as often as you can during the day, recall your mind to the presence of God by one of the four methods that he's mentioned. Consider what he's doing, what you're doing. You will always find his eyes fixed on you in unchangeable love. Our hearts should each day seek a resting place on Calvary or near our Lord in order to retire there to rest from worldly cares and to find strength against temptation. Remember frequently to retire to the solitude of your heart, even while you are externally occupied in business or society. This mental solitude need not be hindered. Though many people are around you, for they surround your body, not your heart, which should remain alone in the presence of God. So David said, My eyes are ever looking to the Lord. We are rarely so taken up in intercourse with others as to be unable from time to time to recall our hearts which into this solitude with God. Amen. St. Francis de Sales contents, they're quite a lot and I, I think I will do them another time to tell you what they all are but if there's one or two here that I've already typed up I will share. Yes, this is a vocal, mental and spoken prayer. And if during the vocal prayer your heart is drawn to mental prayer, do not restrain it. Let your devotion take that channel without minding the vocal prayers which you had intended to say. That which takes their place is more acceptable to God and more useful to your soul. If your morning passes without mental prayer, either from excessive occupation or any other excuse, though such interruption should be avoided as far as possible. Try to repair the omission later in the day, but not directly after a meal, as then you may do it heavily and sleepily, because even praying makes you sleepy. I can assure you that even sharing some of this has made me feel sleepy and I might have nodded off had I not had this big folder in my hands. So your health would be injured. If through the whole day you cannot do it, you must try to make amends by multiplying spoken prayers and by reading some devotional book or by some penitential acts to avert the consequences of your omission and add to this a firm resolution to do better the next day. So he's a great teacher of med meditations and this remedy against temptation is a favourite of many and I'll share it now. Whenever you feel the approach of temptation... Imitate a little child who sees a fierce animal coming. He immediately flies into his father or mother's arms or calls to them for help. Similarly, in temptation, we must fly to God and seeking his mercy and help. Our Lord himself taught us this. Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Matthew 26, 41. If temptation continues or increases, hasten in spirit 
to embrace the cross as though you can see Jesus crucified before you. Then promise not to yield to the temptation and ask his continued help during the period while the temptation lasts. Do not think about the temptation, but only about our Lord. If you think of the temptation, it may shake your courage. Try to divert your mind by doing something good, which will enter and occupy your heart. If the temptation still continues, you can only preserve in protesting that you will not consent. And um, I will save the last couple of pages for tomorrow. Uh, I will do them. There's not. There's only about three pages, and I will continue to do the um, evening evening prayer. So that's what I'll do now, and I won't. I'll try to not fall asleep, <laughs> as that was saying in that. So I'll, I'll just try and move myself forward and hope my back will be okay. So we're now on Tuesday for the evening prayer, and then that will be that for today because the readings were short, the mass readings. So Tuesday evening, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Evening praise for the light. O joyful light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the sun's hour of rest, the lights of evening round us shine. We praise the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God. Worthy are you, O Lord, at all times to be praised with undefiled tongue. O Son of God, O giver of life, therefore you are glorified throughout the universe. 1 Peter 1, 3 Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy he has given us a new birth into a living hope. Psalm 26, the second part. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. Dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my help. Though father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Instruct me, Lord, in your way. On an even path lead me. When they lie in ambush, protect me from my enemy's greed. False witnesses rise against me, breathing out fury. I'm sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from Scripture, Romans 12, 9 to 12. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honour, do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Amen. The Magnificat my soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he has looked with favour in on his lowly servant. And from this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. 
He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and has sent the rich away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The intercessions. At the end of the day, we give thanks to you, O Lord. Glory to you, our God. Teach us to seek the things that please you. Help us to find you in all that we do. Lord, feed us with the bread from heaven. Guide us with the light of your word. And you can say the Lord's Prayer privately. Concluding prayer. Father, we thank you for showing us your mercy today. May that mercy extend to all those whom you entrust to our prayer. And may it bring your peace to all peoples. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May Christ, the only Son of God, bless and help us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. And the saint of the day pray for us. God bless you all. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you and heal you. I'm sending you his peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord, no matter what the circumstances. Don't give up on prayer. Increase it. And then you will find that amazing peace that will be with you. So have a very good night. And hopefully I'll be back tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to drive Deborah to do prayer ask. There's more in that book. You know, there's so many of them. But uh, I will try. God bless. Thank you for listening.